in my garage. So today we're talking about hand tools. Uh, you're a brand new technician, you don't know what tools you need to buy. Well, these are the basic hand tools you're going to need to get started as a HVAC technician. So here we go. So as you can see here, I have a ton of tools laid out here. Um, this is pretty much what you're going to need to get started. You're looking at probably spending anywhere between a thousand to 1500 bucks, just depending on what you get. Uh, you know, just to get started. And this is mostly just the hand tools, um, but this will get you, you know, get the job, get the job done for you. So I'm just going to talk about them real quick. So we bet down here, we got our wrenches. Uh, we have adjustable box wrenches also known as crescent wrenches. Uh, this is an actual crescent wrench right here. Uh, we also have channel locks. These are actual channel locks, um, different sizes. Uh, this is a spud wrench. You don't really need that, but it's nice to have for gas valves and stuff, but you're definitely gonna need a pipe wrench. Um, you're gonna need some PVC cutters. You want some straight tin snips. You're gonna want some good heavy duty scissors. Uh, and you're gonna go ahead and want a uh, box cutter or a razor blade and a duck knife. Duck knife is very important. This right here, this is a fuse puller. It's basically uh, helps you pull out fuses. It's plastic. It's not, um, it's not a conductor, so it won't shock you. Uh, you don't really need one of those, but they're nice to have. Uh, this is a set of linemans. They are very nice to have. I never used them for a long time, and I found one in an attic, and I can't live without it. It's, it's awesome. It's great for, you know, untwisting wires and things like that, and it's got a little cutter on it can grab on things, it's awesome. Uh, you're gonna need a set of diagonal cutters. Uh, you're gonna want some, uh, these guys here, this is a crimper tool. Uh, this is uh, nice to have, you don't always need it because you can get a set of strippers, which you're gonna need, that have it built in. I don't know if you can see that right there. Uh, it actually has built-in crimpers. Um, it's good to have some needle nose pliers. You're definitely gonna want a service wrench. Um, this right here you can use to open and close service valves um, if they're three position valves and then this bit will allow you to open up the service valves uh, just the two position ones you're gonna want a set of allens uh, it's good to get metric and you know standard uh, you definitely want torpedo uh, level you're gonna have to be leveling things the little one's nice because it's portable uh, this is one of those things that you don't need, but it's nice to have. This is basically a little magnet. So if I drop a tool, um, or some screws, you can extend it, stick it down where you drop it and pick up your tool. Um, I've saved a lot of tools by doing that, as you can see here. Um, so this is, this is actually a great thing to have. Harbor Freight. Um, I know we don't say that. I know those, that's the words that you don't want to ever say, but, um, Harbor Freight is a hit or miss thing. There's some good stuff there, but then there's also a lot of junk. This is one of those good things. Uh, I think this was like three bucks. Um, another thing is you're gonna want a reamer tool because you're gonna be working with copper pipe. Um, you definitely want a tube cutter. And um, this right here is not something you absolutely need, but uh, this is a, um, a hub puller. So this helps you pull off fan blades or uh, blower wheels and this has saved my life. I highly suggest getting one of these. They're about 50 bucks, but it's well worth the money. You're gonna want a caulking gun because uh, you will have to seal some stuff sometimes. Uh, this one right here is, I would say, some people say that these aren't required, but I highly suggest these. Uh, the reason being is these are to take off those refrigerant locking clamps or locking caps. Um, so these are the different types. This is the, the no vent and then these are the shield. Um, I just noticed it's broken. Uh, but, but anyway, this one's for the shield, uh, um, locking caps and this is for the no vent ones. Uh, one's for 410A, one's for R22 slash universal. So those are definitely important to have. Uh, screwdrivers. So I have a bunch of clients here. I have a large common, a small common, a fill-up, a small fill-up quarter inch nut driver, uh, five sixteenths nut driver. And then I have an 11 in one here, which I love. Um, then this is a six in one. Of course I lost all the bits, but this is a six in one stubby. And then there's a, uh, this is also a stubby for quarter and sixteenths. It's adjustable. So you can, you know, switch it right now. It's quarter. And then you just kind of pull on that and screw that in. And now it's a five sixteenths. 
So this is kind of a nice thing to have. Uh, you're definitely going to need an electrical meter. Um, it's nice to have these alleg uh, alligator clamps uh, that you can hook up to the wiring. And you're definitely going to want micro leads. Uh, a lot of the new stuff is, has small little tiny connections and those regular leads just will not fit. Um, this comes with my, my clamp is detachable. Um, for my particular one, I have an HS36 by Phil Piece. You're going to want a set of manometers. Um, it doesn't have to be these wire, wireless ones, uh, but you're definitely going to need a manometer. It really comes in handy. Uh, this is one of those things where you don't really need it, but I highly suggest this is infrared, uh, infrared thermometer. These things are great. Um, you can measure grills just to see if it's cooling, um, or you can... Um, you know, measure motor temperatures, make sure there's no problems with it. You're also going to want a set of uh, thermometers. Uh, these things will save your life. And one thing I always keep on my tool bag, and usually your, your company will get, provide these, is a, a two inch uh, uh, paint brush. And then I wrap it with electrical tape, as you can see. And I can use this to brush off, you know, just like dirt or whatever off the electrical components. You can definitely want an impact wrench or no, I'm sorry, impact driver. Uh, this is a rigid. I personally, I like it. People make fun of me, but lifetime warranty on the battery. Um, and it's just as good as all the other brands, but personal preference. And of course you want a good set of work gloves. You want to protect your hands. Uh, another thing too is these things right here. These are little poppers. There's a five amp version and a three amp version. I use these when I'm trying to find shorts. That way I'm not burning up all my, uh, uh, all my fuses and then you want a good set of uh, jumper cables. I like to get the super long ones so these are like super long as you can see here so yeah they, you know uh, you want at least to have at least like two of them uh, you know for double you know because you use these a lot uh, and then I have I have three big ones and I have like a bunch of little cheap ones. I like these because they're nice and thick you know, I got these on Amazon. These are awesome. I love these. But anyway, um, you want to have some kind of flashlight because uh, you're going to be working in the dark. Um, and then drill bits. Um, I have three here. These are the ones that I use the most. Uh, so this one right here is a half inch um, nut driver. And pretty much I use this one for compressors to take off the compressors. This right here is the Malco fl uh, flip bit. So this one is a 5 16 and a 3 8 So right now it's 5 16 I can pop that off, pop that back on, and now it's a 3 8 And then I have another one that's 5 16 and quarter inch. So same deal, pop it off, flip it, and there you go. So those are nice to have. You're going to want some kind of, um, some kind of step bit. Uh, I have three of them here, and believe it or not, these are Harbor Freight. Uh, I just bought these because the one that I had, it's a three, it's a, a set of three, as you can see here. They're like 20 bucks. Uh, the last set I had lasted me five years. Um, so most, most bits at Harbor Freight are terrible. You pretty much use them one time and that's it. Uh, but these lasted me five years and I was using them pretty consistently and I was very happy with them. So the one I had, it was starting to kind of finally wear out. Uh, so I got another set, 20 bucks, best money ever spent. Uh, you can get the nicer ones, you know, they're like 50, 60, 70 bucks for one. Uh, but, uh, you know, and what I like about these is they have that hex so you can hook it up to your driver. So other ones, you the, the, the expensive ones, you can only put on a drill. And personally, I just, I never use my drill. I have a drill, but I never use it. I always use my driver. Um, and then you want to have some extension bits. This is a uh, flexible one. As you can see, it flexes, it bends. Uh, and then I have an extension one, just basically give me longer reach. And then there's this guy, this is a DeWalt one. So this is the 90 degree um, bit, as you can see. This is one, these again, these are kind of this, these, uh, you know, nice to have but I would highly suggest these because you're always trying to get to weird things. There's also some uh, other kind of wrenches you can get. Uh, I don't have, which I'm probably going to eventually. Um, but yeah, you're definitely gonna want a flexible bit or an, and an extension for sure to get started. Uh, you're gonna want a small thermostat screwdriver. This is actually, a, I think this is a six in one. So, you know, it's, it's a pocket one. So pretty much you flip it like that. 
and then you pull that out and you can stick it in your pocket, which is exactly what I do. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. I like this one. It's made by Klein. You're going to want to have some kind of Sharpie because uh, you're going to be writing dates and stuff on, um, you know, on uh, uh, filters and stuff. And then, you know, you want a pen because you're going to have to fill out paperwork. Um, and I don't know if I went over this. I may have. Tape measure is very important. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, again, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, go ahead and comment below. Uh, hopefully this helps you on figuring out what tools you need. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Um, hit that bell notification. Uh, I think it's right there. And then uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.